Hi, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. No, I'm not Joshua Bardwell. I'm Cameron, Bluto FPV. Um, I was actually requested to show how I wire a Spectrum Serial Race Receiver to a Luminaire Lux V2 board. Because um, those are the boards I use. Um, I just did one the other day. I, was, I thought about recording it. And I didn't, I should have, um, but I'm going to kind of go through the basics, show you what I do to wire one up, how it works. Um, hopefully you do learn something and hopefully it helps out a few people. I know there's not a lot out there on spectrum sometimes and, uh, really helps to have a few pointers. Um, so watch the video. Um, going to kind of through some technical stuff. I'm not going to cover soldering. Hopefully you already know how to do that. Um, if you don't, there's plenty of videos out there on soldering. Um, this is a really easy thing to do to solder up the um, receivers. Um, you just got to be careful for voltage that you use because you can select voltage on the Luminaire Lux V2. And there's two serial race receivers from Spectrum and one requires higher voltage than the other. So I'll talk about those. And uh, hopefully this, like I said, it teaches you something. So we'll go to the computer and cover a few things and then we'll come back and I'll show you how it's wired on the quad. Okay, the first thing we want to do when you get a new board is you want to go through the manual, look at the wiring diagram, make sure you know what's going on. Um, the Lux V2 is really pretty straightforward. Um, we'll go down here to the wiring diagram. So right here is the top of the board. You can see the front of the quad um, with the arrow, arrow points. This 3 slash 5 volt, that's where you're going to hook your power to your receiver. This RX is where the signal from your receiver come from and ground right here. These three are the ones you need to hook up the receivers. But you need to select on the bottom of the board right here. There's three pads, it says 5 and 3. The center pad, and whichever way you connect the two is the way you're going to get power. So if you solder the center to the one on top, you're going to get 5 volts to your receiver. And the center to the bottom, you're going to get 3 volts to the receiver. So the um, FPV Racing Serial Receiver, um, it is number SPM4648 takes the 3.3 volts so you'll need to select 3 volts for that one and then this one is the SPM 4649T that accepts a range of 4 volts to 7.5 volts so you're going to want to select the 5 volts I have one of each of these receivers um, they both work great you just need to make sure that you're selecting the right power for them so again just the regular racing receiver SPM 4648 is 3 volts and the one with telemetry SPM 4649T is the 5 volts so make sure you're selecting the right power here okay <clears throat> so I'm going to show you now um, on the actual board, how mine's wired up, what color wires go where, and um, then we'll come back and I'll show you how I configure it in beta flight in case you have questions on that. Okay, so I'm using my phone because the GoPro wasn't focusing like I needed it to. Um, hopefully, the audio is not too bad. So, here's the top of the Luminaire Lux V2 board. This wire here is my receiver wire. I mount my receiver to the top plate on this quad and it just plugs in and out right here um, so that's why it's unplugged but these are the wires so as with most things you've got black which is a ground red which is your power and again I soldered on the bottom the three volts because this is a Regular serial receiver, 3 volts, so this is giving 3 volt power out of this pad to the receiver. And the gray is your signal wire. Look back at the diagram, you'll be able to see it. I'm 
try and show you the letters. I don't want to pull these wires too much. Let's see if I can get in there. So RX 5 volt and ground, even though that 5 volt is 3 volts because of the pads you soldered on the bottom. Okay, and then also if you're running the telemetry receiver, you're going to have two more wires for telemetry of the battery. Those two wires go directly to your battery leads or if you have a VBAT pad on your power distribution board, you can solder them right to there. And then that way it'll send battery feedback to your controller. Um, I don't use that one very much. Um, I do have it set, but I don't have any alarms or anything set because it, when you um, punch out or something like that, it drops the voltage on your battery and it starts alarming even though you're not um, low on voltage. I prefer to use on my other quads, I have uh, Runcam Swift 2 with OSD. Um, and I run the power wire right to VBAT and then I can see it in the OSD on that. Um, I really like that. Um, saved me some time, found out my, uh, I can fly sometimes longer or shorter depending on how hard I fly. So that's really nice. Um, so anyway, again, you got the three wires. Red is power, black is ground, gray is the signal. Um, look at your schematics, really easy to do. And then remember on the bottom, depending on which receiver you're using, the regular diversity receiver says 3.3 volts, and the other one takes five. Um, if you look, it even says right here on this receiver, focus, 3.3 volts. All right. Yeah, one more look at that. Okay, so now that you have your receiver soldered to your flight controller, um, you're going to need to head set it up in beta flight. Um, you got to bind it to your controller. You can either use the power connection and plug it in that way. Um, on these, um, the serial receiver, the 4648, um, it's an auto bind. It automatically goes into bind if it doesn't have connection. So you plug the power in, watch the receiver, the light will flash and then you can um, bind your radio to it. Um, on the telemetry receiver, the 4649T, it actually has a bind plug in the wiring harness. You've gotta put a bind plug in there, just like you would a regular flight receiver. Um, put that plug in, power it up, bind the radio, um, power everything down, take out the bind plug, and then it should be bound. Um, so this one's already bound. I'm not gonna go through that process. Um, there should be videos on binding. Um, if you do have questions, let me know. Um, should be pretty easy. So plug your quadcopter in. So now we got power on the uh, on the regular race receiver. This will power your receiver, so you can bind through this way. But you need to connect. So under ports, you'll be under UART 4 for the Serial RX. Make sure you save and reboot once you set that. Then under configuration, it'll be Serial Base Receiver, Spectrum 2048, save and reboot. Then you can go into your receiver tab, make sure everything works, do your um, endpoints, your center point, so your trim, sub trim, travel adjustments. Make sure you select your modes so that you can have your um, switch work to arm it. That's a whole other story. Should be plenty of videos on that for you. Um, but again, big one ports, UART 4, Serial RX. Under configuration, Specs at Spectrum 2048. Make sure you save and reboot after every one of these. And then receiver tap, make sure everything works. Set your travel adjustments. On most of my quads, I have had to reverse, um, I believe, roll and yaw. Um, I probably can pull out a receiver and look, or a transmitter and look, but I've had to reverse those in the, in the controller to get the proper direction. And also under channel map, you'll need to change that to the spectrum channel map. 
make sure you save that one as well um, yeah so um, I'm gonna change cameras here real quick we'll do a wrap up and hopefully uh, I've answered all your questions hey guys I hope that's helped you out uh, biggest thing to remember always look at your wiring diagram make sure you have the proper power selected um, 5 volt or 3 volt depending on the receiver you have the red wire is power the black wire is ground gray wire is the transmit or the signal wire pretty easy and straightforward make sure you kind of do a dry fit of where you want the receiver to sit before you cut those wires and make make the adjust um, and solder them on um, I like to kind of put my receiver out of the way somewhere I can unplug it and I don't have to worry about it if it's uh, hooked to something or so on and so forth um, like I said the one I had was on the top just unplugged it, it was really easy to get out of the way um, <clears throat> beta flight pretty easy I think it's pretty similar in clean flight and those others um, just make sure you select the right things if it doesn't work um, keep trying look into the paperwork you should be able to read up and see what's going on um, hey and I appreciate the question so this is a video I made from a question somebody had um, it's actually kind of nice to know that somebody's watching my videos I appreciate that um, and so please like and subscribe share with your friends and uh, hopefully I have some more flight videos coming out soon I have some footage I just need to get the them edited and put together so I'll probably do this one first because it was a request and I just want to again say thank you appreciate it